Welcome everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create sessions and actually replicate all the data we could have and move all of our widgets inside of the VR. So as you can see, I have a host right here and it's me because I created a lobby. Also, we'll be able to join sessions and here you can see the test of what is actually happening inside of VR when we'll be in the level. You can see simultaneous update of players inside the lobby. So let's go ahead and implement this. Please guys, make sure you also subscribe to the channel and leave a like under this video because I'm putting all my my efforts in YouTube guys and I'm actually the one who is giving you all the juice and how to make everything unique in your VR game including multiplayer that no one is talking about. I'm the one who is discovering it, who is putting all of the efforts into the development and actually sharing my experience with you and also I published at least one video on my Patreon and now it's regarding guns and it will be more regarding multiplayer so make sure you also check my Patreon. I'll leave the link under the description and if you want you can go ahead and subscribe later once there are more videos or you can go ahead and subscribe it now. So first thing you need to make sure is that in our level blueprint, you will remove the connection between event begin play and creating widget. The reason for this is that when you build it on your headset, you will not actually see anything in your viewport. So viewport doesn't work for VR applications. And moreover, your headset may lag out because you added to viewport and something wrong might be with your vision through the headsets. So remove this from here and also go ahead to main level and make sure you remove it here because we use it only for testing through pc for now make sure it's removed it's essential so first of all we have our server manager master that holds all of those three widgets lobby level we have vr pawn and if we go to our main level our game mode also has vr pawn so what i would suggest you doing is that create a separate pawn for menu and create a separate pawn for your main game that's a good practice because we want to have different functionality. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I will go back to my virtual reality template map and I will go ahead and create another pawn. So I can look for existing one. It's VR pawn. I'm going to actually control C, go to my content folder, control V, and I will rename it VR menu pawn. Afterwards, I'll create a custom game mode so that we know the difference. So I will go ahead, right click, blueprint class. I will look for a game mode because you remember from previous tutorials we have to choose this one that's specifically for multiplayer i'll call it bp menu game mode and i will choose it here so bp menu game mode my default pawn class will be vr menu pawn and you may ask me why are we assigning vr menu pawn here and we'll have vr pawn in main level because we'll have different menus for our VR pawn when we are actually playing the game, they so that we'll be able to see the players and leave the session. And once we are in the menu, we want to have another type of menu where we'll be able to create session and join session. So that's why I'm creating two separate pawns for menu and for our main game. And again, I really suggest you doing this all the time. And now in here, once we spawn in our VR template map, our game mode says, let's see our game mode, it says that it is going to use our VR menu pawn, but once we are in our main, it's going to use our pawn. So what I want to do, I want to actually change the way our menu is displayed. So I will go to my VR menu app, and in here, I will go to my toggle menu right here. And what are we are going to change? We're going to double click on this function. We'll go to our menu. So now we are in our menu. That's that is getting popped up when you press B on our controller. That's for Oculus. I don't know which button is for other controllers. And all we gotta do here, go to widget, change it to WB server manager master. And we're going to remove draw a desired size. And we're going to set size to 1080 by 1920. And now basically, if we run the game, we should be able to actually spawn this menu instead of the default one. So I press B on my controller, and as you can see, I can spawn a menu. I can create session, create session, and now I am in this level right here. But you can see that we still have this menu when we actually spawn it. So for this purpose, all we got to do is just to duplicate our menu. So I will go to my menu class. It's default class provided by our VR template. And I'm going to basically control C and here control V. And I will call it main level menu. And all I got to do here is to change our widget to our WB player list and leave so that we could have this widget right here. And let's change the draw size to 1920 by 1080 like this. And now we'll have this kind of menu. Afterwards, we'll go to our VR pawn. And I just remind you, we're using it in the main level and I will change its toggle menu to spawn a different class. And it's going to be our main 
level menu, this one. Let's hit compile and save. Afterwards, we're going to change our menu reference to main level menu, change variable type. And here we're going to promote it. And here we're going to use this pin right here, close menu on is valid node. Let's hit compile. So everything compiled. Let's actually come back to the level and try to do exactly the same to perform exactly the same test as we used to. Here, I'll create a session for two people. And here, now I have this menu. I know, guys, it's a little bit big. You can play with the scale of your menu in your uh, game, but I'll leave as it is. So I have basically a leave button and I have a player list. But as you can see now, we don't see ourselves in our player list because we need to update it in a little bit different way. So I will leave it and I'll close my game. So the first thing we can do, because once you remember, when we spawn here, we didn't even see ourselves in the menu. So an easy fix to actually do this is to call update list right in here. So now let's actually run our game from our virtual reality template map. So I'll create a session right now. And as you can see now, we actually see ourselves. But here is the plot. But here is the problem. When player connects, we'll have to close this menu and open again in order to see another player joining in. But what I actually want to do is that I want this list to be updated dynamically once player joins, so that we didn't have to close it and open it again to actually see a new list of players. So that's what I want to do now. And in order to do this, let's actually go to our game state. So I will look my main game state. That's the one that is assigned in our game mode inside another level, inside our main level. So I will open it and we'll need to play with this function. But here is the problem. We update list only on the widgets on the viewport, but we are not actually updating this list when it's a separate actor. For now, I will just break this pin because we are no longer working with our widgets on the viewport. So here we're going to get actors of class and make sure you will choose actors, not actor. We need all of the players that are currently in the level in our multiplayer. And we're going to look for our VR pawn. Since in our main level, where we actually allow players to join, we have default pawn class VR pawn. Therefore, all the players we see right here are of type VR pawn. So we are looking for VR pawn right here. Afterwards, we're going to use a simple for each loop and we're going to update menu for each player in case it is opened. So for each player in our VR pawn, we have a variable called menu reference and it is valid when our menu is opened. Therefore, therefore here I'm going to get menu reference and I'm going to convert it to validated get. So now actually this for loop goes through every player and sees if this player has his menu open. And in case it has, and in case it has, we're just going to get widget like this. And if you're going to cast this widget, cast to WB player list and leap. And in case it is true, we are going to update player list. So what we have done now is that our list will be updated when we have our menu open and another player joins, so it will be dynamically adjusted. And now let's go ahead and I will show you how to actually test it because we need actually to make sure it works because how we can say that it will definitely work for another player if we haven't tested it. So the way we're going to test it is that I'll go to my VR pawn and in here I'll just steal this toggle menu function and I'll put it here. And afterwards, since our toggle menu is based on our camera, I will go ahead and put this camera here. So if I run the game in Pi Editor, you will see that we have joined, we are host, though this menu will actually be seen in the game. And now let's go ahead and put two players and launch it Pi, and you will see that nothing has happened. That happens that two players are joining simultaneously. So that is totally fine, don't worry. That's because we need to test from our VR template map. That's through our lobby. So what I did here, I actually connected the event begin play to our widgets so that we could have those widgets here. So let's actually go ahead and try to do this. So create session. I'll create a session for five users. So now the player has logged in here and he opened his menu and he has not closed it. Afterwards, we'll click join session here and try to look for the players. So it's looking, looking, looking. And now, as you can see, we see the session, we press join, and voila! Even when the menu was opened on this client here, it still got updated. And the person who had this menu didn't have to close it and open it again. 
it updated simultaneously. Of course, guys, in your VR phone, you will remove this toggle menu. So that's just for testing to make sure even if we are in VR mode, it will work. So connect your begin playback and make sure you will move your camera also back to the origin. So you didn't read me in this core that it doesn't work. Uh, and also in your lobby level, so VR template, uh, let's go to this map, will also remove this event begin play here. So now you will actually have a login capabilities in VR and replication in your main level will also work in VR. Hope you guys understood everything today. If you have any questions, make sure you'll drop them in the comments. I'm happy to answer every question. I don't miss any of your comments, so please be sure to ask me any questions. Any tutorial ideas are fine and see you in the next one.